Hey everybody and welcome back to Fallout 4. Thank you all for hitting that thumbnail, checking out this video. It does mean a lot. If you could be so kind as to maybe hit that like button as well, uh, that would help a lot too. Now, for this episode I'm going to be going through Vault 114 and rescuing Nick Valentine. How do they open the door? I use my vault, I use like the pip boy, but I'm guessing these guys don't have a pip boy. So how do they come and go? Oh, headshot. Is that a headshot? It's more like a neck shot. What's also good about this game is, uh, as far as like the gunfights are concerned, not even like the bad guys aren't like spot on. They do miss a lot of the time. So it's not like some first person shooters where it's like all the bad guys seem to hit you spot on nine times out of ten. Behind something. Okay, eat some food. Sorry, boy, I don't have any stim packs for you. Mahogany, baseball bat, don't need anything like that. Bag of cement. That would come in handy if I could lift it. Don't have enough room though.
Wait, was this? Ah, where do I go? All oh, right, no, it's down there. Okay. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> the little door's locked. What's going on? Okay, I'm kind of liking this uh, Tommy gun. Hey, I got a bobby pin finally. That will come in handy from the from the entrance. When I say that, I haven't done the like mini game thing where you have to do the pick locks in this for a while, so it probably won't come in that handy. I'll probably go through six trying to get used to the bloody thing. Well, that went to uh, hell very quickly, didn't it? Nova. Yep, I'll do. Okay, so this guy is clearly <laughs> this guy clearly has a name. He's not just called Trigger Man, so. Makes sense, really, that he's like a boss, sort of, like a mid-level boss, maybe. Hence why he's got so much health points, or hit points, or whatever you want to call them. Like, I near enough emptied a clip into the guy. Alright, go to aid, eat some random stuff. Give Skinny Malone more time to think about how he's gonna bump you off. Don't give me that crap, Valentine. You know nothing, you got nothing. Really? I saw him writing your name down in that black book of his. Lousy cheating card shark, I think were his exact Where is he? Oh, there it is. Uh, tick number? What does that mean? And you obviously have a 998. Wow. 999. The QC obviously is full. Have a nice year. Does that say? Does that say have a nice It's full for the year. Have a nice day. Alright. What? Alright. That's weird. Ooh, bobblehead. Nice. Haha, <laughs> my knight in shining armor. Question is, why does he come all this way? Risk life and limb. An old private eye. My son, Sean, is missing. He was kidnapped. But I don't know who took him or where they went. Missing kid, huh? Well, you came to the right man, not the right place. I've been cooped up in here for weeks. Turns out the runaway daughter I came here to find wasn't kidnapped. She's Skinny Malone's new flame. And she's got a mean streak. Anyway, you got troubles, and I'm glad to help. But now ain't the time. Let's blow this joint. Then we'll talk. Lead the way, Nikki. Malone's crew here used to be small time, muscled out of the old neighborhood by bigger players, until they found this place. Don't know what happened to the previous owners, but they're not exactly around to charge rent. Empty vault. Perfect hideout. 
Nope, nope, nope. Uh, yeah, get into the habit of using the quick menu. see the flash of the muzzle <laughs> before he died. I was going to say, you didn't even see the bullet that killed him, but that's not a thing, is it? Hard and loud, huh? Well, gets the job done. Bad for whoever cleans up the floors. This door's on the fritz. Let me see if I can get it open. There we are. Hell of a lot easier to do when the lock isn't on the other side. Hmm. That was uh, not what I was expecting to happen. His head just exploding like that. Abraxo. Yes. Was this two? Oh, okay, you got five action points. Nice. Nothing. Am I freaking seeing things? You haven't seen anything yet, pal. Uh, all right. There's there's a door here. I was like, wait, what? Is this an empty room? I don't know what the plus sign means. When it says like plus, yeah, uh, machine gun plus and all that stuff. I'm not sure what that means exactly. Who's hitting my dog? Yeah, this is all going back into, uh, like I said, the junk pile back in Sanctuary Hills, so who cares? Uh, I need to get rid of some of this stuff. Got, I got 16 points of weight to lose. Uh, postman uniform? Read allows. So that can go. 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 Hey. For God's sakes, man, at least shoot some of these guys. Don't just run past them.
All ah, right, I'm on, I'm borderline like uh, on the weight limit here, aren't I? Uh, I need, I need to increase strength at some point. Boys are waiting for us somewhere. The name's uh, ironic, but don't let that fool you. He's dangerous. Another locked door. Shouldn't be too hard. Ah, vault one fourteen. I'll take that. Steps on the other side. Once we step through this door, get ready for it. Can I level up? No. Nope. Can I? Hang on. No, it's a stim pack. No, right away in stim pack. Okay. This is gonna set me back. I wouldn't be here if it weren't for your two timing game, Skinny. You ought to tell her to write home more often. Oh, poor little Valentine. Ashamed you got beat up by a girl. I'll just run back home to daddy, shall I? Should have left that alone, Nikki. This ain't the old neighborhood. In this vault, I'm king of the castle. You hear me? And I ain't letting some private dick shut us down now that I finally got a good thing going. I told you we should have just killed him! Then you had to get all sentimental. All that stupid crap about the old times. Dala, I'm handling this. Skinny Malone's always got things under control. Oh, yeah? Then what's this guy doing here, huh? Valentine must have brought him here to rub us all out. Darla, listen to me. You have a home to go back to. You don't want to throw your life away with these thugs. I... I... You're right! What am I doing? I've gotten all mixed up. Darla! Where... Where are you going? Home, Skinny. Where I should have been all this time. This is goodbye for us. Oh, come on, Nikki. You cost me my men. Now you and your friend cost me my girl. My friend here just did you a favor, Skinny. You always did have bad taste in women. Now that she's not around to feed that temper of yours, maybe you'll see sense and let us walk. You still owe me for two weeks in the hole. Smug, overconfident ass. Get out of here! All right, you get to the count of ten. I still see your face after that. I'm gunning both of you down. Better get out of here fast. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I think if you actually do stay here as well, he does shoot at you <laughs> when he hits Ted. Because I was like, does he really? That would be an interesting thing to find out. And then everyone just opened fire on me. I'm surprised they haven't shut that vault though. That just feeds into my theory that I don't think they can open it properly. Like, they haven't got a pit boy That's the only way I've seen op like people open those vaults in this game, is by using a pit boy And from what I can tell, none of them have any pit boys And I'm still not 100% sure what the purpose of that vault is. Because from what I saw of it, it looked unfinished. So... I don't think there is a, there was a proper purpose to that vault. Like usually, there's some kind of shenanigans afoot, like some kind of social experiments happening, or something, or some kind of scientific experiments, but nothing. It must, it might, could it be one of those like vaults, like, a, like what was it in Follow Three, Vault One Thirteen? Is it One Thirteen? Ah, yeah, I think it's One Thirteen. Never thought anything so naturally ominous could end up looking so inviting. Thanks for getting me out. How did you know where to find me, anyway? Not many people knew where I went. Your secretary, Ellie. She sent me. She did? 
I should give her a raise. Now, you mentioned something about your son, Sean, how he went missing. I want you to come to my office in Diamond City. Give me all the details. Besides, I think you've earned a chance to sit down and clear your head. You said Diamond City, right? Yeah, you know the way? Southwest a few blocks. My office is in the back alleys, with the neon heart sign out front. I'll meet you there. See you in Diamond City. Yeah, I'm paying a fast travel. And wait for him. At his own place. Level up. Okay, do I go for charisma? Or endurance? Cap collector, you must deal out of the deal. Buying and selling prices at vendors are better. Pickpocket, not really my thing. Gunslinger, challenge spirit of the old west and non amount does do twenty percent more damage. Uh fortune finder, you've learned to discover the wasteland's hidden wealth. Okay, that'll save me some money, I thought. Making all the stim packs a you know, bit better. Alright, I'll meet him back in Diamond City then. Back to the map. I love how you can fast travel to Diamond City and then Diamond City Market. Which is like two, just, just under a minute away. If you fast, if you just travel on foot from Diamond City. Okay, let's go and see Valentine and see what he has to say. Like literally, I have not. Like I said, I've been playing this in years. Dad says not to talk to strangers. I keep meeting to come back to it, but never do. So I, I, I literally can't remember a lot of what's happening. So it's, it's kind of like playing a new game a lot of the time. A death. Someday death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. Hey, happy to do it. Yeah? Go diving into scary pre war ruins all the time, then, do you? Here, every cap we agreed to for finding him. Plus a little something extra. You know, if you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. When you're trying to find someone who's gone missing, the devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. My wife was murdered. She was trying to keep them from taking Sean, and they... they just... It's okay. You don't need to say anything more. So, we're talking about a group of cold-hearted killers, but they waited until something went wrong to resort to violence. What else can you tell me? We were in a vault when it happened. Vault 111. It, it was some kind of cryo facility. You were on ice, huh? More importantly, you were underground, sealed up. There's a lot of obstacles to get through just to take one person. Anything else you remember? There was a man and a woman. They didn't say much. 
but I remember they called me the backup. So we're talking a small team, professionals, the kind that know to keep their lips tight when they're on the job. Not sure what the backup means, though. Anything else you remember? We're looking for my son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? Why an infant? Someone would be taking on all of his care, and a baby needs a lot of it. Now that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. Hmm. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the Gunners. And of course, there's the Institute. Who were the Gunners? High-end mercenaries. No job too brutal. They're in the running as likely suspects. They wouldn't be the ones pulling the strings. Wait. Super mutants? What are they? Big, green, muscles on muscles. In other words, hard to miss. I think we can safely rule them out. You think raiders might have done this? <laughs> I honestly doubt it. They can barely organize themselves, let alone pull off something this complicated. So you think this institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. Something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human. Infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. And I'm a synth myself. A discarded prototype, anyway. You're a prototype? As far as I know. Never seen any other synth like myself. There's the older ones that are dumb as rocks and all metal. And there's the newer ones that are almost human. I'm somewhere in between. You don't know anything about them? Really? Some kind of security setting strips or blocks out those memories. And it's not just me. Any synth that gets trashed, left behind, or escapes the Institute has the same problem. Probably some kind of failsafe. Don't lie to me, Nick. You're one of them. They made you. Yeah, I've heard it all before. You're a freak. You've got something to hide. Blah, blah, blah. But the truth is, people smart enough to build something like me are smart enough to cover their tracks, and arrogant enough to throw their unwanted trash into the Commonwealth to fend for itself. Didn't actually mean to hit the circle one. I tend to avoid them because that's the more aggressive approach. Either way, I need to find Sean. You're right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? I'll never forget that voice. Low and rough. Like sandpaper across your face. <laughs> Not much to go on, but a tough and commanding voice can get someone pretty far in the violence business. What else? The man who killed my wife. He had a handgun. I didn't get a clear look at it, but that sound. Could have been a large caliber revolver. Huh. I'm starting to get a clearer picture of the kind of man our perp is. Anything more you can tell me? Uh, bald and scarred. One of them came right up to me. Bald head. Scar across his left eye. Wait. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? Who is he? Do you think he has Sean? Hmm. Way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned West Stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. You said he lives here? He's still in town? They both vanished a while back, if I'm remembering right. But that house is still there. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. 
Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am. Alright, for now though, I'm gonna call this video to an end, this episode. Thank you all for watching, it means a lot. God bless you if you got this far. In the next episode, I'm gonna be following Nick and carrying on with this quest line. For now though, that's uh, pretty much it. If you could possibly leave a like, um, maybe a comment, and hit that subscribe button as well. All Any one of the three would help a great deal. For now though, that's pretty much it. So until next... the uh, I got my words up. Until the next episode, you take care.